You might be struggling with a financial situation or a health situation now, and it seems as if nothing good can come from you. I know how it feels when you've been going round in circles, when you keep experiencing that heat in your life that seems to be prolonging, or you're experiencing delays maybe in your business, career or finances, or that aspect of your life that keeps you up late at night and troubles you. Deliverance has come for you. Every delay in your life, and even the struggle in your life, is all caused by the enemy, and that is why the Bible says, The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. The enemies sponsored by the devil are for your downfall. They are the ones that held your contract till now, and you must get angry at this work of the enemy and never give them a place in your life. Sometimes I found out that the reason many suffer more than they should is that they give excuses for that suffering. They say things like, maybe it's not the will of God for me to prosper in that job or get that job. Now it's been four years after seeking that promotion and an open door to that institution, and you've been attributing it to God. That is not the work of God, but the enemy. God is your very present help in the time of trouble, and therefore that hold of the enemies in that very aspect of your life is breaking, and the limitation has been broken. God is known as Jehovah Nissi, which is the God of war and the one that raises our banner. He will fight for you and release all that the enemies have held for so long in your life. Be it barrenness, You've been looking for the fruit of the womb and it never seems to come because the enemy has surrounded you with a siege. The God of war has delivered you from the siege of the enemy. Now you are free to believe. You are free to soar like the eagle and come with excellence in that field that you're in. When it comes to deliverance, God has a characteristic that deals with that. An oppression in life is to God an abomination. It is like to God to spoil an egg in his nostril. The God of war has risen for you and that siege is over. I repeat, it is over. An end has come to every oppression in your life. God is assuring you in his love and faithfulness today. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down by him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble and he knoweth them that trust in him. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do ye imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise the second time. Today the strangers in your life are fading away out of their hiding places in your life. They've been judged. That sickness has been judged. That very thing that is not giving you rest has been judged completely, and the fire of God will perform this and cut it short in righteousness. Your liberty has come, and it is coming in this season. God has delivered you from the striving of the enemies. He has made you the head of them all, and when these enemies will hear of you and what God has restored upon your life, they will obey you and fear you from now because now they have stripped you naked. That long-expected scholarship, the money has come. He is disappointing the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform that enterprise. The release has come to you finally, because God is with you and you can't be stopped by your enemies. Look at the story of Isaac, the son of Abraham during the time of famine. God spoke to him to stay in the very land he was in and not take a hitch at all. You might be in this very case now where you felt imprisoned in your heart to stay where you are, and there has been hardness that has been prolonging for so long. It was said that he went to dig his father's well, and there was striving with the Philistines there, but he did not give up. He dug another. That should be your attitude from today. Never give up. You can't fail in it. The devil and those he sends to frustrate you have one attribute, which is persistence. They will keep coming and striving with you to check if you are self-determined, to never give up. As he pushes, don't be afraid and push back. Be strong and courageous, knowing that this is a good battle.
You are destined to surely win in this battle. Like Isaac, he dug the first one the enemy struggled with him. He did not go back and begin to cry over it. He trapped the experience and called it Sitna. And he went back courageously and dug another well. And this time his enemies could no more strive with him. He called it Rehoboth. God has made space for him in tight places that all that his enemies have sorted to hold back, God opened the door for him. What the enemies had held for so long was released. You might be in a tight corner now, but God is releasing you from that tight corner. God is releasing you into a large place. Like what God says in the words of Joel, And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. God will not break the siege of your enemies. He will restore all that they have eaten. If they have eaten five years from your life because of that heartbreak or delay in sorrow and tears, He will restore you with double, and He will compress ten years into one for you. What the enemies have held for so long in your life, God will release and give you double honor. It was said earlier that God has delivered you from the striving of your enemies, and He has made you head over them. Your enemies will crawl out of those hidden places they seem to take in your life now and fade away out of existence. God has given you absolute victory. Now your business will come alive like a switch. Don't be afraid and be embarrassed about your present state now. You might be living from hand to mouth because the enemy is sat in the way of your lifting. God is saying to you that I will open to you the two-leaved gate and it shall no more be shut. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, to subdue nations before him and lose the armor of kings, to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. There is a power in God to make those who don't want to do things according to his will forcefully do it. It is a compelling power because Cyrus was not part of his people, but he used him even though that was his enemy to rot his purpose. Your enemies will be forced to release what they had held in your life for so long. Your time and season of deliverance have come. Now you will laugh and dance because God has surrounded you with songs of deliverance. When what the enemies have held for so long is released from you, your life will so change like the difference between night and day. Your joy has come. I tell you, your joy and peace have come. You will forget about shame and past regrets. This will be your testimony in the days ahead. Psalm 126 verse 1 to 3 will mark on you. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad.